That, my friends, was the sensation that's sweeping the nation. I'm talking about Derev, the ambassador, and uh, a Sydney outfit who have come down to Melbourne and um, they are about to unleash the beast at the Northgate Social Club tonight. And I would like to welcome to the studios from... Um, from the band, we have Peter Farrar and Matt uh, Otignon and uh, Derab, uh, the ambassador himself, Derab uh, de Salang. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Uh, it's an extreme pleasure, extreme pleasure. Thanks for coming in, guys. You guys are fresh off the plane, I believe. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And into the hire car and into East Brunswick. Is that where we are? Yeah, we're in East Brunswick. Yeah. Loving East Brunswick. And uh, I'm uh, loving this new album, too, that's just come out. This is... Uh, a pretty amazing thing, but um, it's it's not a new thing. I mean, Derab, you've been uh, you've been working for a long, long time. You've been singing for since you were four, I believe, is your first public performance. That's exactly right. Yeah, I've been singing for the last. I mean, since I was four, and um, playing the instrument, the violin, one string violin. Um, I started when I was ten. So mm-hmm. since then, yeah, I've been doing music pretty much um, for till where I'm at. But um, in between, for the last seven. In between, I have stopped music seven years, so mm-hmm. around seven years, but I'm back to it again now. Oh, thank God, <laughs> is all we can say. And um, you have, uh, w- when did this album, this album came out, what, like uh, about a couple months ago? Only, yeah, end of February, like last week of February. Right. And it's um, it's getting uh, getting noticed all over the world. In fact, um, I think you were just saying that the people at Mochilla, that was the label that we were playing the last Mulatu song from, uh, an LA-based uh, label, they're, they're very interested in your work. W- what are they going to be doing? Um, but yeah, I just, yeah, we um, were approached by the person who is involved in uh, Mochilla Record Company in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. So we were there and we met a few um, um, musicians also other producers in uh, American producer new uh, hip hop interested in hip hop music collaboration mm. um, they basically those this company they like to release it in Los Angeles which that's great that's great also we did some collaboration with uh, Cut Chemist and Quantic oh okay those are another American producers yeah it's yeah, they're big, uh, big sort of friends of this big funky family we all live in, and uh, always great when they come out. Are they? Um, have you recorded with them already? Yes. Yeah, we did. Um, with Cut Chemist, we did three tracks. Wow! Um, so was that uh, the whole band or just you? Or no, they. Sadly, no. It's more like <laughs> sa- they have sample like uh, oh, okay. some sort of really interesting musics. Um, Quantiki has his own different style. Combined Ethiopian music with um, um, South American, Colombian rhythm, mm-hmm. and it's just interesting place in Los Angeles. It's just the uh, possibility of music. What we hear mm. there is quite different. Quite the melting pot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll be interested to hear when that uh, when that comes out. Definitely. Mm, yeah. we're, Absolutely. We're, um, but uh, uh, for the moment, we have this uh, fantastic album. That is getting lots and lots of airplay, lots of love from Triple R and uh, all over the nation, actually, which is great. Mm. Yeah. Um, th- well, this this style of music really is like um, I've, I released my first album, second album in Ethiopia, uh, which is more pop uh, mm-hmm. music, which um, uh, 2004, I had a um, couple of hits in Ethiopia and again 2007. Um, but... Um, Right now in Ethiopia, the music has a lot changed since the, uh, from the 50s, 60s, 70s, uh, early 80s up to where we're at now is more commercialized music or computerized. Oh, okay. So um, this is the style of music which uh, personally um, not I grew up or uh, right. listened to when I was young, when I was living in Ethiopia. So I pretty much start discovering this music in mm here in Australia and some other uh, all over the world so like to me it was like wow what a sound the style of music the, the arrangement was yeah. absolutely authentic mm-hmm. uh, the complexity the style the lyrics the wisdom the whole thing everything about that time was absolutely mad when I heard of some of the stuff I was just blown away I said oh, cool I love to do this yeah. which I've been 
trying to do my first album, second album, live and arrangement. Mm -hmm. But it w right now in Ethiopia, the music has completely has changed in our generation. Yeah, it's the music's note uh, like it used to be. So it's kind of trying to bring that music authentic. Um, uh, yeah. Blues, jazz, reggae, um, you name it in Ethiopian Bring music. it back. Bring it back too. Because uh, Francis Falsetto, the, the the man who started the label, the Ethiopics label, which sort of almost, you'd say, relaunched this sound into the world. Yeah. Um, he he chose one of your tracks for, for one of their comps. Yes, it's also, yeah, he's going to do some, um, pretty much in Ethiopics, he has chosen one of the track, which is that it has a big worldwide audience oh, great um so that's another thing he's mm. interested in um we also just keep doing what we're doing in sydney we have my producer is amazing producer in uh, we have in, in sydney he's absolutely he was passionate about ethiopian music great and he's also like you know he stars that he understands music and also the industry um really we just at the moment, we just uh, having really good time back, oh, back and forth. Yeah, so we we see what we can yeah. do in the future. Cool. Well, you make sure you get paid from Francis too, because Malatu <laughs> was saying that the uh, Ethiopic oh series um, was uh, you yeah know, it wasn't, but it was out there. exactly. And yeah. I think the good thing is is that. Um, Pe you know, people got to hear the music. And yeah. he's touring now. Yeah. He's touring around the world. Malatu. Yeah, um, off yes. the back of that, surely. Well, that's true. That's that's definitely true. I guess I guess the So he wasn't that angry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess to for Ethiopian the music hasn't hasn't been exposure to the world. In in some ways he kind of gave exposure but um to the rest of the world in the Western world. Mm. Um but the old generation somehow maybe um, they didn't do much to it. They work on the music or Ethiopians. We um, maybe there wasn't. We also the music was we the country itself was isolated. So yeah. Um, now it's we the new generation. We kind of in, in the way we understand how things work. Maybe hopefully they can rip us off. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We you stop them to stamp your foot down. Yeah. <laughs> take your money. Let's hear yeah. another track. What track do you want to play now? We'll play we'll together, which is uh, I think everyone likes. The oh really? Uh, which one's this one? number two? Oh, I, oh, okay. We can <laughs> do that. We can do that. I'm not really a CD guy, but I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> we'll be back. Welcome back, party people, and you're listening to the sounds of Dereb the Ambassador. It is a, uh, a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I am joined in the studio by Dereb and Peter and Matt from the band as well. Thanks all for uh, coming in. And um, we're here to talk about tonight's gig too. It's going to be pretty awesome. Absolutely. Tell me, uh, Peter and Matt, you guys, how uh, have you guys uh, had much of a history of Ethiopian music? <laughs> oh well, um, I mean, I've been playing with Dereb for maybe four years. That's you know, a history. So yeah, it's a history, and um, I guess I've, my interest in it's probably just grown just from playing with the group and just learning about it. And um, mm -hmm. it's the history of. There's also a history of. I'm, I'm a sax. We're both sax players, Matt and I, and so there's a double sax. Fuck yeah, it. that's yeah. right. It's a, Nice. The way to go, <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, and there's a, there's it's a real unique saxophone style. So it's been really interesting for me just mm -hmm. learning about this sort of other saxophone, you know, other style of playing. And um, cool. Yeah, and the rhythms and the mel like the vocal melodies, um, how they kind of relate to, you know, the, what the saxophone is doing and all that kind of stuff. Awesome. Uh, yeah. And um, and tonight's show there is a. Uh, a special format that's going to be undertaken is that correct yeah we're doing it a little bit differently tonight instead of the usual one set we're doing two. Oh, that's super fun and for the price of one too by the way oh yeah it's um stop it but you do have to to watch the first set you have to buy a cd that no no, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and rub his back yeah yeah, yeah. No. No, we're doing we're doing um a little bit of sort of a more traditional acoustic style first set so if you want to hear something that you won't hear on any of the other gigs, come down because it's uh, yeah. It's, we, we we did a little interview up at WOMAD recently where they took us out into the uh, out into the 
where oh, he was out yeah. in the park. Yeah, nice. And they gave some videos and a couple of little microphones, and we did a thing completely acoustically under a tree. Like, there's no amplifiers, no nothing, just acoustic right. guitar, acoustic bass, like, all this stuff. And we listened. We, I watched back the video, and it's, a, it's great. And so it's Beautiful. kind of inspired us, like, actually, yeah. we can do a set of this kind of stuff. Wow. And then maybe we'll move into the Beautiful, more electric sort of dance stuff you hear on the yeah. on the album. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah. So, um, so tonight you are supported ably by uh, DJ Jumps. Who Looking is, forward uh, to that. He has. Let me tell you now some of the most amazing records because he's travelled all over the world with Cat Empire and he just goes to great places and uh, he has great records. So mm. I'll be on the dance floor right. for his business. And uh, what time's the band on? Well, we're doing 9.30, nine. Okay. and he's going to start at 8.30. Nice. But he'll keep playing during... The, there'll be a little bit of a break between the two sets while we go and grab a drink, stiff okay. drink. Nice. And I'm hoping he might even keep playing after we finish at quarter past the I was trying so, to talk yeah. him into that. So I think he's pretty keen. I think he's like he's keen to do anything. He's there all night. <laughs> so, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, That's yeah. awesome. So that means they can party. Yeah, you know, when we I reckon it's gonna be party. The party goes yeah. on. Oh, that'd be uh, great. Yeah. He has some jamming joints. Good. Jamming yeah. joints. Well, uh, yeah. So the party tonight is at the Northgate Social Club, and um, I haven't, I haven't actually asked you dudes about mm. if we can do a double pass giveaway, but um, we probably. I don't know the. Um, I don't know how that works either. Well, I think if you if you think you can I, I, figure I out a way to get get the names on the door, let's uh, do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll weave some. Not yet, people. Not yet. Don't call yet. So hold mm. the phone, Joan. Just relax, relax. I've got to ask Derek. Derek used to live in Melbourne, didn't you? I used to. Yes. Yes. Um, and you're yeah. in bands with Nicky Bomber. Yeah, we did national tour and we recorded my f- uh, first album here in Australia. And um, yeah, we. It was one of the songs was actually uh, hit in Ethiopia. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, you just don't get paid for it. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, it was, um, we did national tour also. We were um, uh, supported by Australian Art Council. We tra- uh, we travel around from Northern Territory to Alice Spring, uh, where remote area Aboriginal people lives. Mm-hmm. So it was yeah, a good experience. Um, and uh, yeah, since then, uh, wow. then I moved to back to Sydney. Right. And, and then you got sta- this band again. my band, yeah. Wow, that's great. So about four years have you guys been playing? Absolutely, yeah. That's fantastic. And things are super tight at the moment. Mm. So um, I'd like to congratulate you guys. This is uh, really, really good work. And... Um, you know, oh, I, I was going to say too about the Sydney scene. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. What, what's going on? What's in the water in Sydney? All of a sudden, you oh, guys they, are funky. What's happening? There, I don't know. Maybe, maybe attitudes are changing up there. Finally, yeah. yeah. But it's been. There it was, oh, it was awful for the last five, six, seven years. Yeah. It was just, nothing happening you, you you couldn't even turn up you couldn't even get a saxophone out in a bar and play it you get it's like nah really no no you, you mm. know this, they were just it was strict and awful and expensive <laughs> starting to change it's there's still, it's got a lot, bit more support a lot, a lot to yeah a lot to go so <laughs> a long way to go in music scene in Sydney, sure yeah. they're opening up the cafes and places like Newtown and all that but unfortunately the music in there is pretty yeah pretty we, right. gotta, we gotta change the premiere yeah. yeah well now that, oh man oh god knows what's gonna happen now Oh, okay. But, well, um, it's yeah. only it's on, changing. onwards and upwards, I've got to say. So, good work, good work. But, um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do a giveaway, a double pass for tonight's show. It's only a cheapie, though. It's only 15 bucks on the door, I think. So, um, come on down if you're in the north side of town. Call up if you're a subscriber on 93881027 and uh, you'll get a double pass on the door. Now, we're going to go out with the uh, with the Malatu Club banger. Sure. The Ugele. And um, thanks very much for coming in, you guys. And, no problem. Um, Thank you. See you on the dance floor.